Yo, what up, everybody? It's your boy Stu the Gamer here. Uh, today we are back with some more Madden NFL 21. We are in week seven of franchise mode. We are going up against the Ravens, who are five and one, same as us. Uh, which is kind of odd. Last time we was four and one going up against the Browns, who were also four and one. Um, now we're five and one going up against five and one. So yeah. But if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell. And leave this a like on this video as well as a comment. Let me know what you thought. Let's get into it. Today, from M &T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland, it's Week Seven of the NFL on EA Sports. arrived in the mid-atlantic region of the u.s and it is a glorious afternoon at m t bank stadium in baltimore today we've got a matchup here in pivotal week seven oh that was a terrible kick i don't know what i was thinking <laughs> wow i forgot to hit that first uh hey man Great start, great start. Kills the momentum of your team as you start a game. On first and ten, it's Jackson. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Jack five yards on the game's first play, second down. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20, because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored, give yourself a, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. <laughs> It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves them with a third and three. A gain of two brings up third and three. They'll run. This is Gus Edwards. And he's Ooh, somebody's got a flag. Here with a marker on the field as well. Oh, yeah. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. On third down, Jackson. They set up. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Come on now. You should have had that. First down, 15 yards there. First and 10 at the 45 yard line. They'll run for the first time with J.K. Dobbins. They'll get only a couple down to the 44. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 17 carries, 59 yards. He's been a huge part of their winning streak because. He establishes not just an identity and a tone, but the team relies on it. He takes care of the football, he gains yardage for him, chews up clock, and that's been a big part of why they're winning games lately. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Right at the midfield stripe. Stefan Tuitt able to shake free and get home for the sack. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, you know, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz. And even though people think that the screen oh, man. is against the blitz, if you have the blitz mm -hmm. called and you still cover the screen, that allows your blitzers to get there. The Steeler this thing is closer to the end zone. It was going to bounce in. That's what I tried. Oh, let's, let's try to run. Let's see. We're going to try to blitz, but let's do this. Come on. 
James Conner. And he's going to be taken down shy of the <sighs> Let's yard. see here. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. There you go. We got some room. That's what I'm talking about. Past the 35 before he's taken down. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Ben going to give this to the counter. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. A check on the numbers last week for Connor. He was able to topple the 200 yard mark and a rushing touchdown for good measure. And what I found surprising, all those yards he accumulated. There we go. Only found the end zone yeah, one just time. once. That, that doesn't even seem fair, does it? <laughs> but still, the 200 yard mark, something he can always carry in his back pocket. It's a first down on a gain of 10. On first and 10, it's Roethlisberger. He's going to launch it for one. Oh. And that's going to be incomplete. Two times. Right. Hold on to that one. It's second down. And so they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Out of the gun. It's Roethlisberger. He's got the there first we go. down and more inside the 40. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 36. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 36. Oh, no. Intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. It's yeah, Ben ain't going to catch him. Yep, nope. Goes. Well, fuck. I've been the best of the opening quarter. Well, partner, I do know this. If you're a defensive back, you have more chances to make a team now than ever because people are using five defensive backs, six defensive back packages. Not exclusively, but way more than before. That was a nickel package there, and what a pickoff. Why is that? Why are they using that more? Because more people are throwing the ball on earlier downs than ever before. This has become a passing league, and because of that, more defensive backs on the field on most plays. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he returns this to the 22. The Steelers take over first and 10. Okay. At their own 22 yard line. There's James Conner now as he trots back onto the field. A tough challenge here in this one. We'll see if he can duplicate the numbers on your screen that he put up last week. Up over 100 and a touchdown. We were watching tape to prepare for this game. One thing you noted that I totally agree with. That's close, that's close. Complimentary piece in the last game. You know, they're able to throw it pretty well. He ran it exceptionally, and they hope to continue that same formula in this game. Complimentary with an E, not an I. That's my English teacher right there. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. He was brought down by Malik Harrison. Oh, I was trying to snap it before quarter ran out, but nope. Trying to get that extra play in. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On the counter, it's Connor. Oh, and he slips there we go. Past the 45 before being tackled. The Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. A good carry and a first down by James Connor. And this Pittsburgh team is really hoping he's back in form because last year the entire Pittsburgh offense suffered without Ben Roethlisberger, quarterback. James Conner, only 715 combined yards, but in 2018, he was a Pro Bowl running back. Combined yardage that year, 1,470. They're hoping for 2018 James Conner in 2020. There we go. We're going to get this one to Conner, and he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. It's a gain of six. First down, Pittsburgh. First and ten is counter, and they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big Come on, there we go. 
takes it past the 30, almost to the 25. Eric Ebron. That is catch number 300 now for his NFL career. They'll run on first down. It's Connor, and he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. All righty. Go run it again. On first down. That brings up second and five. Here's second and five now from the 22. All right, there we go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Inside the 10, and he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. James Conner with touchdown number eight on the year. Hell yeah. The Steelers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Let's do this. Partner, that was another explosive run, and one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit, but for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. Chris Boswell to kick off for Pittsburgh. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Taken in at the three. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. There we go. It wouldn't matter if he handed off or not. That's somebody on both of them. Make it a second and three, second and That's what I like to see. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. A throw on the quick slant going to be complete. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. 12 yards on the play leads to third down and one. They'll try to run for it with Dobbins. Oh, no, no. Does he? To the Man. They needed a yard. They got it. First down. You would expect since they're so efficient on picking up third downs in the top five in the NFL. I thought I had them. It's all a mindset, and I'm guarantee you it started in the offseason. Third down's important to them. They find a way to pick them up with a very good play. The big man, Tyson Alualu, there to make the tackle. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. At the 35 yard line. I will remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Jackson's oh. throw on target to Willie Sneed. And he slips up. You got to get him. 45 before being tackled. 12 yards there and a first down. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. And he'll be brought down right on the 50. A gain of three. Three yards the gain there, second down. Oh. Side Andrews with it complete. I didn't mean to hit the tackle button. A yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. All right. That is definitely what we call our defense an uh oh play. And what you mean by that is against Lamar Jackson. When you see him out of the pocket, your first thought is uh oh. He's going to try and run it. How do I get to him and get him on the ground? And guess what? That didn't happen, and his receivers took advantage. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. This pass complete. Jackson finding Andrews. Come on, somebody. To the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Man. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Let's see if we can get a touchdown before half. We should get the ball back. Tied up and then put us up. Possibly. They count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught that, ran with it, all the way to the end zone. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And no return on this one. It's a fair catch. A signal four and take it. The Steelers take James Conner and the Steelers ready to get their next drive going. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's he's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. 
think they still have to show him as oh a yeah sure yeah a come on flag pass interference Use him as a decoy a bit and get hell yeah some other people in order to put more points on the board that's what i'm talking about establishing them with his running yeah, he's established himself well now can they put more points up First down, it's Roethlisberger. Come on. Oh, you got to get out in front of him a little bit more, man. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. All right, I need you to check my eyes here. This entire unit defensively, I think, has looked really strong in the first half. All right, Connor, looking at you. They've been cohesive, fast to the football. We just saw another example arriving there to help knock that. There we go. Oh, man, you got to hold on to that. Come on, Connor. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. So back to back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Play fake to there we go. Oh, oh dude! He was open! Why couldn't you? Mm -hmm. Man, he got it there. It's not their best game catching the fucking football, dude. Let's go for it. Gotta get more help. Obviously, one that should have been caught. They gotta find a way to bring those those two elements together. Oh, come on, man. He shouldn't have backtracked. Man. You caught it. Past the line, and he had to come back. Man. And you know, I remember playing how much fourth downs were emphasized. You know, because as you said, it's a momentum play. It's also a big test for you. You know, if people are going to go for it on fourth down. They believe you're not up to the challenge. You want to show them differently. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Here's second and ten now from the 35. Leads to second and ten at the 35-yard line. To throw again. Ooh. He gets this underneath to Dobbins. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Well, third and ten. Down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. Let's get to him again. Jackson from the shotgun. He'll find Dobbins out of the backfield. All right, let him kick it, and we get the ball right back. Come on. Not too bad. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down. They just said we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. Here's James Conner now as he trots back onto the field. And the ground game's been good, but they're losing here in the second quarter. Can they use that ground game maybe to work the air attack a little bit more? I think so, because now you can throw play action off of being Come on. able to run the ball. Dude, pass interference ball. again, baby. Yeah. Back out of the backfield, get the ball in his hands in open space. And just don't get totally away from running. Hell yeah. Because some of these runs now, they may pop bigger as the game goes along. Yeah, they've been good with a run so far. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver. That's good. Now get no score in here. Let's just run it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why was he diving? That's supposed to have been fucking slide. They changed the buttons again. Man. Still two more quarters to go. The second half upon us sooner than we bargained for. Week seven, second half. X used to be to light, and then they had it they had a double tap. And then they moved it back. Did they switch it back to having a double tap or what? Uh, I'm not turn out to the twenty seven yard line. Man. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. Oh. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Oh, dude, why didn't you block for me, man? The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. 
He was a nice shot there on the tackle, keep him to the short gain. And of course, he got some good news this week. He was named AFC Defensive Player of the Week from last week's effort. And part of the reason he got that award. There we go. Plays like that. Not every play is spectacular. Not every play is for a loss. Make the plays that are in front of you, keep it to short gains, and you pile up statistics. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, come on, Connor. Let's do this. So you have to either play off or make sure oh, yeah, oh, yeah. somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed to his advantage and go up and get the football. That's a big time play right there. Another nice gain, 16 yards there. And a first Let's do that again, Connor. Come on. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now, Connor. Hmm. A little bit, not much. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. From the 29, Roethlis. Here we go. Short little throw to Ebron, and down inside the 15, shy of the 10. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. A gain of eight. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. On first down. Oh, come on. Get this one down to about the 10 yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Now second and nine from the ten. Brings up second and nine. Again, it's Connor. And not able to break Come on. this time as they're gonna stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Gotta get this, man. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Rolling to his right. He can run for it, and he will. And they'll uh, get him down about three yards short of the first. You know what? I want that touchdown. I might regret it later, but I'm going to go for it. If I don't get it, I mean, they're right there back up against the end zone. If you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven... Let's get some drag routes going here. Just don't take a sack and I'll be all right. Fourth down. Here's oh, yep, nope. All right. Come on, let's see when we can get a safety in here. Get a safety and get the ball back. Oh, quick slant to Brian. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. There goes that safety option. First down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. On first and 10, it's Dobbins. And he'll be taken down at the 18. Dobbins, the ball carrier. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. They'll go again with Dobbins. Jackson, there we go. right. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Now they're staring Third and eight. Come on, one more. That last play backwards a yard. Yeah, the guy, man. Yeah, it's play man. man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater. He just made a great play there. Oh, yeah. It's even better. Joe Hayden, the veteran with a pick. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. You're looking there at a defensive back. All right, Connor. Feeling like running. came into the league a decade ago. I know I question his speed coming into the game. But what he's lost in speed, he's more than made up for it with intellect. And that's a great job of knowing how to position A couple more plays in before. Interception. Into the quarter. There we go. And he's 
is going to be down close to a first down at the Ravens 27. Yeah, no. All right. Hoping we will get up there to get another play in, but nope. <clears throat> Third and two. Let's do one more run. Come on, you can get two yards. Oh yeah. There we go. Get this to Connor underneath. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Give him eight on the play, and that'll make it a second down. Roethlisberger will hand to Connor. And he stopped immediately there. James Connor. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look. Bam. That's what I'm talking about. Let's tie it up here. Eric Ebron, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Steelers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. On that third down call, the goal was to get the ball to their tight end. There we go. Tie ball game, boys. Get a stop and get a no score. decided to take in the whole meal and rumbled in for a touchdown. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Lamar Jackson marching back onto the field. And it was his interception on the last drive that wound up leading to a game-tying touchdown. And somehow, you can make this a positive, though. You know why? Game tied now. So you're not protecting a lead. So you're not playing that way. You can't go get the lead again. So maybe it loosens him up a little bit and allows him to go ahead and be a little more free in his play. Oh, man. I thought I had that another interception, man. Come on. Yeah. Man, I thought my guy got in front of that. Well, fuck. Let's go. Chase down another touchdown. I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that. Man. One play, 75 yards in zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive healers? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big time play, big time result. Cameron Sutton on the return. The Steelers take over first and ten. At their own Pittsburgh set to take over again on offense. And now after the touchdown a moment right. ago, they work from behind in a seven. To hell, Mary. Quarter, plenty of time on the clock. Flush to his right. Looking deep. Oh, 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 catch. Ah, people. Come on now. Second pick of the game. And I gotta get that. Second and ten now from the twenty-seven. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. Oh, I probably should have. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Connor. Woo! Should have probably threw it to Connor, but man, I'll take that. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm gonna keep firing. Oh, hold on to that. Come on, man. Fuck, he still had it when he went down. Come on. There we go. Caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. Nine yards, not quite Let's go ahead and run it. Come on, Connor. Oh, they're expecting it. There we go. We got it. That's all we needed. Okay. There we go. 
And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. A gain of 10, good for a Steeler first down. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 41. There you go. Now Roethlisberger getting this one into the hands of Smith Schuster. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three at the Ravens' 34-yard line. Ben leaves to counter on the draw. Come on. It to the -yard line here, right I've seen him stretch it. Did he get it? Yes. All right. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I would love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. That's what I'm talking about. Gonna get that to Ebron, and he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two. Two minutes. Oh, here, run it. Play smart here. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you... There we go. Thank you, Connor. Steeler touchdown. Touchdown, James Connor. Second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Steelers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. All right. Hard part's done. Now they just get a three and out. Post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know yeah, let's get a three and out. Maybe kick a field goal to put us up. Here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Well, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight. I don't want to see overtime. I want to get the ball back in. Score, whether it's touchdown or field goal. Get it. Play some man. And following that long touchdown pass, a one play drive last time. See if the defense, you know, they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. No. And you would have thought they would have been ready. There we go. I mean, that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense. Not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Oh, yes. Thank you. In this situation, come on. Three and out, baby. Three and out. There we go. One more. Stop them. Connect on second down. That leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. From the gun, Jackson. Oh, yes. I thought he caught it, man. Woo. That's an excellent job. There we go. That's what we needed. All right, let's just move it down enough to get a field goal. Come on, good return. Hmm. Call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. At their own 39 yard line. The Steeler offense here. Oh, they're bringing it up. All right. They need to get this around the 40 on the other side to get into field goal range. Come on. There we go. Inside the 25. What am I talking about? You're going to call a timeout? All right. I'll start running it now. I'm in field goal range. I'm looking at a fucking touchdown now, baby. Let's just run it. Kill some clock. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. They'll run here with counter. That's what I'm talking about. Get him down after a pickup of eight. Oh yeah, if y'all want to keep using timeouts, I'm gonna keep on running. Gonna use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under fifty seconds remaining in the fourth. We Connor some more reps in here. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. Had a stat some. Ravens gonna use their third and final timeout as they'll stop. Oh, well, it's first and go now. Shit. We got this. Oh yeah. That is what I am talking about. And they ain't got no more time. Timeouts to use when they get the ball. Late in the game, they look like they're in control. All right, 
There's a chance. Block the extra point, go down and score, kick the extra point themselves. They can pull this one out. Yeah, but also on the sideline that just took the lead, you got to get your defense ready and the special teams unit for the kickoff coming up. Yeah, you're exactly right. Got to pull everyone together and make sure they're still focused and aren't already celebrating a win. All right, let's do a squib kick so they have to build it to run off sometime off the clock. Give them a little bit better field position, but I'm a hell. Kill some time. There we go. Killed three seconds. They ain't got no timeouts. Feeling good about this. We'll have to score. They can get a two points to beat us. We got this. Oh, it's a five game streak? So they lost their first game? I'm sorry, boys. We're about to put an end to that. Oh shit. Ah! Uh, oh! There we go. Keep him in. Fuck. Alright. Come on. That's how he's got to go out. So stop it. Continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. One last shot for Jackson. Boom! Oh, yes. Oh, man. I was hoping I'd be able to juke in and avoid all of that. Keep going. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Six and one now. That was good. My heart's all pumping now. <laughs> but man, look at that. 142 rushing, 251 passing. Hell yeah. Oh, as always, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell so you get notified whenever I upload new videos, which is multiple times a day. And leave a like and comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this video. Till next time, peace out, Ely. Everybody love everybody.